I'm making homemade Turkish pasta erişte. We are not going to use any machine. It's an old Turkish home style with eggs and either plain or with colorful veggies. So easy, so delicious. And I'm also going to show you how we cook an authentic way with walnuts and aged trees. This is so delicious. I'm going to begin by cooking my vegetables. I have beetroot, cut it in chunks. I would recommend cut it smaller because it takes more time than carrots. And I added a little bit water just to barely cover and cooked them until soft. Either with hand blender or food processor, blend until it becomes a puree. For the recipe, I'm gonna use half cup of each vegetable puree and one egg. I had frozen spinach, so going to use that as well. Just added some hot water over it and pureed everything and it's ready. So I have my purees ready here. Spinach, carrot and beetroot. Grilled red pepper would be delicious. You can give your ideas. I'm also planning to do one only with eggs. Now I'm going to make my dough one by one. Let's make carrot first. It is better if you mix the egg and vegetable puree first and then add the all-purpose flour and salt. I added about close to two cups of flour first and then gradually add more until it is playable and not sticking. Going to add a little bit turmeric to give some more brighter color. I covered the dough with a damp kitchen towel and continue to make the other purees. And the fourth one was only with eggs, so I added third of a cup of water. Again, close to two cups of flour, salt, and knead my dough. My colorful doughs are rested. And it's time to roll. I'm going to use a rolling pin. It's not going to be too much of rolling. It's going to be thick because we are making erişte or pasta, we can say. Let's begin with the carrot. It is softened because uh, it is rested. You know what? I forgot one thing. The bowl size should be according to the pan you're gonna cook. For this pan, this dough could be too big when we roll out. So I'm gonna cut it into half and then work in two batches for every color. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this into two and then make a bowl again. While these are resting, I'm gonna work with the other ones. Especially when the doughs are rested, it is very easy to roll out. Just first sprinkle enough flour on countertop and onto the dough. And then roll out into about 1-2 to two millimeter thickness.
So I rolled my dolls. As you can see, it's very easy. I didn't even use my uh, oklava. Uh, now we need to partially cook this in order to uh, stack them together and then cut. I'm gonna heat up my pan. It's kind of a griddle. We made gözleme. I already shared. And also uh, I made lahmacun with this one. But you can use your uh, biggest non-stick pan too. If you are making this in small amount, one batch to cook right away and eat right away, you don't have to dry them. But again, just to cut, it is better to partially dry it on sauté. It perfectly fits to my pan. It begins to turn its color, so I'm turning over. I lowered the heat and about uh, 20 more seconds on the other side and this is it. It is important to use a lower heat because we are only drying and for mine it took about 20 seconds on each side. You will see that the color will fade and uh, will dry out and it's gonna be enough okay they are ready dry enough to easily cut as you can see, the ones with the spinach and the beetroot stretches down a little bit when it cooks. So I think it is better to roll out a bit thinner than the final result you want. It will be thinner in desired thickness. It's still okay. First I cut the doughs in half and then bring them together and cut again. By the way, it was too thick. It is better to work only uh, with two a sheet at a time, with uh, three layers most. And as you can see, I just cut it into three centimeter uh, rectangulars and then cut into strips. And in some of them, I wanted to cut into triangles to use in different kind of soups. It is really fun to cut erişte dol or pasta, especially when they are colorful, it's like a therapy. Okay, my erishtes are ready, beautiful colored. They are still damp, it has moisture. In order to keep them for a long time, we're gonna uh, dry, uh, either uh, you can air dry or put it into oven on very low temperature, stir from time to time, and then let them completely dry. Or what you can do is you can portion them and freeze another option. I cut some of them in triangles. I'm gonna use it in soups. We'll see. <laughs> now I'm going to cook some of it to show you how we serve traditionally in Bolu style peynirli cevizli erişte. Erişte with cheese and walnuts with butter sauce. I'm going to air dry the rest of the pastas erishtes so I put them to my balcony and get some of from every color I have boiled water ready just added some salt added the pastas 
and also drizzled some vegetable oil about a teaspoon is enough and boiled until soft it took about five six minutes even shorter than I thought so I quickly prepared the butter sauce just melted some butter and added almost finely crushed walnuts or a little bit big pieces are okay it's up to you you can either add the cooked erishtes into the butter sauce or just serve on top of the erishtes or pastas and added tulum cheese and other aged cheese type we have over it okay my friends it's time to taste I'm gonna get my phone for the close-up Wow, <laughs> this is so delicious the pasta melts in your mouth I'm not tasting any veggies but tasting only the butter, walnuts, the beautiful fresh pasta of course and the aged cheese I used tulum cheese, this is also aged, crumbles easily uh, normally we use a uh, cashew cheese, kind of a dried yogurt it is very hard, they just grate it to serve just use your favorite aged cheese, parmesan or similar kind you can try but make sure to give it a try you can add extra walnuts on top and cheese if you like but I mean this is really good my friends so give it a try let me know how it turned out thanks for watching and see you next time afiyet olsun